during them. All right, Jim Acosta. Jim, thanks very much from the White House tonight. The Senate Intelligence Committee, of course, is also investigating Russia's meddling in the U.S. elections and the connections, if any, between Trump advisors and Russia, though with much less public drama. Senator James Langford serves on the committee. He joins us now. Senator, thanks for, for being with us. No, glad to be with you. Um, first of all, just I want to talk about the, the work your committee is doing. Just on the on the, the Sally Yates, you know, her attorneys send a letter Friday uh, saying she's going to be testifying, speaking about uh, uh, subjects related to uh, to Michael Flynn uh, and uh, doesn't think executive privilege applies right. because uh, the conversations uh, have been talked about publicly, then the meet hearing is canceled. Do you think that is a coincidence? Yeah, that I don't know. Uh, obviously, what, what's happening on the House side of it, uh, they've, they've cleared a bunch of their schedule this week. Obviously, all the controversy swirling around uh, Chairman Nunez right now is a distraction. It seems like they're not doing, I mean, we had uh, Congressman Hines who's on, on the committee who said they're not even having regular meetings now. Well, that, that's too bad because you lose, uh, obviously, when you're dealing with intelligence information that's current, that's active, uh, the Intelligence Committee meets multiple times a week. Uh, we have a lot of issues that we have. Right, more than just the Russian investigation. That's, that's correct. A lot more than just the Russian uh, investigation that is ongoing for both the House and the Senate. There are other issues that have to be done. There's a lot of oversight that has to occur. How, for, for your committee, I mean, how critical is it that it truly is bipartisan? Um, because, you know, when you see the questions in the only open hearing the House has had, all the Republicans are asking about leaks. All the Democrats are asking about, about Russia. It's like it's two different hearings, and now it's just completely broken down. Yeah, now, now you're getting to just pure politics uh, in the conversation. It is essential uh, that an investigation like this is uh, nonpartisan more than just bipartisan. Uh, but when you deal in the Intelligence Committee, specifically, no cameras are on, open conversation. Uh, you're talking about very difficult issues that are national security issues. That's not a partisan issue. Uh, we all want to be able to protect the nation. Your, your meetings are behind closed doors. They are. Uh, that makes it a lot easier for, I mean, obviously the public, the reporters would like to, to sure. know what's going on. But for as an investigator, you think that's critical? Yeah, we, we deal with sources and methods. It's not that just it's a smoke-filled back room that everything's a secret on it. We actually deal with America's secrets. Uh, it's no grand secret uh, that we're trying to actually find out what nations or terrorist groups are trying to do to us before they do it to us. Uh, so we're trying to make every means possible to be able to watch what's happening outside the United States before it actually comes here again to avoid something like a 9-11. To do that, you deal with very private human intelligence and what's called signals intelligence in trying to intercept some of their communications. Uh, those are very classified issues, but if you're going to talk about those issues, uh, you can't talk about them in public. And obviously there's a lot you can't say. Right. It, it, uh, whether you have seen, I assume you have not seen the information that Congressman Nunes says he has seen. Is that something you would want to see? Sure. Yeah, I, I think, again, the House and the Senate Intelligence Committees cooperate all, together a lot. They will go through information, and I've not seen uh, what Chairman Nunez has brought out. I think it would be most responsible to share with his committee first, that everyone can see it in his own committee, and then obviously to be able to share it with our committee as well. Um, does it surprise you that he did not share that with his committee? or that I mean, he seems to be acting kind of unilaterally. Uh, he's obviously the chairman. I guess it's his purview to do that. Uh, but at a time when people are looking for transparency and nonpartisan uh, uh, committees, how do you think he's doing? Do you think he should step down? As, as uh, you again, 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 I'll leave that up to the House to be able to determine uh, his destiny and what happens there. But it is important that you work together on it. Uh, for Mark Warner and for Richard Burr as our chairman and vice chairman uh, in the committee, they work together hand in hand. They share information back and forth. It's a loss of trust if one of them has information that the other one doesn't. We've got to be able to work in a nonpartisan way. And, and that, that's the way our committee is working together. Because these issues are hard and they're serious and you don't want to mess up. Senator McCain uh, said Nunes has a lot of explaining to. Lindsey Graham said that unless uh, he shares what, uh, you know, who he's met with, what he's been told, he's lost his ability to, to lead. Yeah, I couldn't disagree with that. Obviously, with his own committee that he works with, there's no reason that his own committee wouldn't be able to see that and obviously be able to share with our committee, including sources for that. Again, we're used to dealing with classified information. There's not a source that he's going to bring up that we're not used to getting a chance to deal around with top secret material. So I'm sorry. Do, so when when you hear them saying that he's lost his ability to lead, you think he's still able to lead? Well, I think it's up to the House to be able to determine that in his own committee. Uh, there, there's a lot, uh, quite frankly, I come from a faith background, there's a redemption. You get a chance to go to people and just say, okay, I messed up, uh, whatever it may be, clear the air, clear it, let's move on. Uh, that's entirely likely. I don't know what all the relationships are like there, uh, but I would say when you make a mistake, you admit it, you go forward and go from there. You know, to uh, certainly the Democrats and folks who see what's happening on the House side, 
why should they have confidence in your committee uh, in, in the investigation? Because uh, obviously there's a lot of skepticism. Sure, there's, there's skepticism. And I hear a lot of people say, let's do an independent committee instead. Right. Here's the challenge that we have with that. If we can do our business and do it the right way as we handle information in hard investigations a lot on some very difficult issues we deal with as a nation. Our staff is up to speed. We all have clearances. Uh, we all have access to the information. We know what we're reading. We know what the code means. If you set up some independent commission, you're going to have to dial up a new staff. You're going to have to go through the process. Everybody's going to have to get up to speed. Everybody's going to have to get additional connections. It's months in the process. Let us finish our work. At the end of time of finishing our work, we're going to put out a nonpartisan, bipartisan report. All of us will sign on to with all of our staff and all the members. Let everyone take a look at it and be able to see. This is similar to what, the, what President Obama did at the end of his time. He went through an investigation of all the Russia. He put it out in December. He came out and said, this is the investigation we've done. The American people aren't going to be happy with it because there will be some aspects we can't share. Do you have a timeline? We'll have thing. We don't yet. Uh, we're going through all the interviews. We're going through our background information. We're doing the source documents. We're doing those essential things and going through it as fast as we can possibly go through it, and it's a lot. Senator Langford, I appreciate your time. Yeah, glad to do it. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks. it. Uh, coming up, 